Good evening. God bless you. So I just was watching my homie Coolio's video about the different things that he was approached with during his time um, of extreme social power through the Gangsta Paradise album and all of the um, attention that was put on him and the pressure that was set. And I have to say this, um, it reminded me, I had got, okay, so one of my friends told me the Illuminati had hit him up while he was in Rikers Island. And I didn't, I, it's not that I didn't take it serious, it's that he was good, he was out, and so I didn't really dwell on it. I want to say in January of this year, I received an email from someone inviting me to join and a message on Instagram. And I didn't, I thought it was a joke, to be honest. And I just said, you know, if God's not involved with what you're talking about, I don't want any part of it. And I didn't get any replies. However, for those don't know, that aren't aware, my son was murdered March 19th. And this was in January when I got these texts. And so I want to put this message out for anybody who's considering going into the music industry that there really is pressure to join secret societies. That's really true. These people are not just saying things. They really they really are approached. If I can remember the email because I deleted my Instagram, but if I can remember the email, he was it was a man and he was stating that this is our agenda and we would like to invite you to join. Obviously, I didn't. I didn't even take it seriously. And in retrospect, I probably should have blocked this person, but I thought it was somebody just playing on my Instagram. But after hearing Coolio talk in his interview, and then the fact that my son was murdered, he was actually murdered in his house, in his bed, right? They found him on his bed, in his robe. I am thinking about it now. I'm not afraid of these people. Um, I'm more angry. Angry that they utilize our youth, that they apply pressure, that they attack our loved ones. I don't know if he's behind, I don't know if they're behind it. I don't know who's behind it. But it caught us all off guard, including my son. Nobody expected that. And at the end of the day, um, I felt compelled after watching the interview to mention it. The music industry is not what it's portrayed to be. You do not make a million dollars off a record. And I, I would stress to you, don't sell your soul. Don't. Don't sell your soul no matter what. You understand? Don't sell your soul. Because this world loves nobody. This world loves nobody. This is this world is dark. And the things that I have heard in my 30-something years in the music industry, there are a lot of people who have done things they wouldn't normally do because they felt like perhaps this might be the key to becoming successful. I'm not going to name names of artists that have not admitted to being part of it, okay? I'm not petty like that. What I do want to say is if you have made any kind of agreement feeling like perhaps that might make you more successful I need you to get on your knees before God okay because these people do not play it is a real thing they do control the entertainment industry and they are influenced 
by Satan. And so the sacrifices that are made are one, humiliating, are two, sometimes done without the person even being aware, meaning they're unconscious and they're being photographed or filmed doing things they normally wouldn't do. Um, it's not worth it. That's why I have love, so much love for Coolio, one of the reasons. He is my big homie, right? But he never forced us to do anything crazy to be down other than to be talented artists and to give it our best shot with our music, go into the studio and work it, right? He never asked me to do anything crazy, but yet I was part of an album that sold 10 million records. And some of you don't know, but I put an album out two years ago called Pretty Little OG, and I pulled it down because I didn't care for the cover. I didn't like representing certain things on the cover anymore. That wasn't my character. But at the end of the day, it came off it came off in February and I didn't continue to keep it up on Spotify or anything, right? All of this was shortly thereafter. This this person had this is right after this person had contacted me, right? And it kind of tripped me out how quick everything disappeared. But God just put on my heart, that's okay. That's really not you. You know, you have grown in me. And so you want to be careful what you're representing. Amen. But make no mistake. <clears throat> this is real. Okay. My friend in New York was pulled into Rikers Island and put in solitary confinement and was approached in solitary confinement. And all of this happened at the same time this person hit me up maybe a week after my friend got out. And my friend told me that they discussed certain names that were independent artists that they were working on, so to speak, okay? Don't give in. If you're supposed to have that, Daddy God will give it to you. I didn't do anything to get it on a record that sold over 10 million copies. I didn't get anything. I didn't give anything of myself, like, sacrificial, right? And I was highly blessed and favored through that whole situation, even my record deal with Geffen. I went through, I want to say, a year and a half with Geffen. I went through a four-year contract with Coolio, and not once did I sell my soul, okay? And Tommy Boy Records... Stop paying me on an album that sold 10 million copies. As an artist, when you put a song on there, you're supposed to get paid every time that album sells, even if it's three pennies. Okay? I think I got a total of maybe $5,000 for writing an entire song for me and Coolio. And I spent years just getting them to acknowledge I'm on the album, right? That I'm on the album. And finally, in 2019, Warner Brothers, a man named Oran, O-R-A-N, came through for me and gave me my flowers. And at that point, because Warner Brothers had bought Tommy Boy out, the record wasn't selling as much. But praise God, I even got my credits back, right? My writing credits. Tommy Boy then bought their album catalog back when I asked them for my money they told me we don't have any money we're a little company we're just getting started and basically laughed because I asked where are my royalties from an album that sold I, I would say it's closer to 15 million right but 10 plus was when I stopped keeping track now Tommy Boy has just sold the catalog again do you think I've received a check? Absolutely not. My royalties is like 50 cents every six months. Okay? Imagine if I had sold my soul for that. And another thing. I just met these two kids. I know the girl's name is r &B, And the young man is Fre Freddy or Frito. 
Freddie up and just, you know, I just met them, okay? And they were telling me they're on their way to Hollywood. And I told them this. Don't take money up front. If you a hustler, hustle to get your record produced. Hustle. Earn your money up front and pay for your product, okay? At the end of the day, when it's time to sell to make a record deal and you've already covered all them funds they try to throw in there that you're going to need to pay, you're walking into the deal with the upper hand. You know, we've been deprived, our culture's been deprived of things, deprived of finances. So anytime someone starts speaking big numbers, we go ham. Yes, I'll take it. And you sign a contract for seven years, okay? It's a seven-year contract. That's how it's worded. But if you read the fine print, it's a seven-album contract, okay? And in that fine print, the record company reserves the right to approve each song for them seven albums. And if they don't approve it, you got to go back to the drawing board, right? That's why you see some artists come out with two albums and that's it. You see what I'm saying? Don't be fooled. Get you an attorney and read the fine print. Don't sign things just because someone's throwing you money. Daddy God will take care of you. Sometimes you'll have money and sometimes you won't. But if you train yourself now not to move for money but to move for God, you're going to make it. You understand? God bless you.